Hi, I'm Whitney Lee, and I co-present a talk here at GoTo with Victor Farsik, who um, is less cool than me, and that's why he's not here right now. You got the better of the two, trust me. Uh, we co-present a talk called Choose Your Own Adventure, The Treacherous Trek to Development. So in that talk, it's a very ambitious talk, we go through the system design choices that it takes to get a, an application from a developer's laptop all the way through to where it's running on Kubernetes in a development environment connected to backing services where it can natively be developed on Kubernetes in fast and relatively real time. So the six system design choices we need to make, we're going to use only CNCF projects to build our demo, and then we use the audience's help. So for each system design choice, we uh, go over the possible CNCF projects that you can use to make that choice, and then the audience votes about which technology they want to see demoed. And then based on what the audience chooses, that's what we build into our live ongoing demo. So it's a real nail biter. Are we going to get through the end, to the end? Is it going to break? Are you going to choose the hardest technologies or maybe easy ones to work with? Um, maybe there are tools in each space that you're really familiar with. And now you can understand what other tools are in the space and what they might do differently for you. We also have a dead end. So just like a choose your own adventure book, there's um, a dead end where if you choose the non-CNCF project, we might all die. And, uh, and it's just a silly and irreverent way to learn about um, the vast number of CNCF projects there are in a space. So specifically the design choices that we go through, our first one was build container image. So we need to do that first. And then we, for that, our choices are Carvel K-Build, Build Packs, and Lima. What have you heard of? What do you know about? What do you need to learn by watching? The next choice is pushing that container image to a registry. And our choices there are Harbor, Docker Hub, and um, Dragonfly. What's Dragonfly? I don't know. You have to watch to find out. Then there's uh, defining your application configuration. So our choices there are customize Helm, Carvel YTT, and CD Kates. Then we need to add our backing service. So we can do that a couple of ways. We can do that with Helm, using Helm as a package manager to deploy our database where it's running inside of our Kubernetes cluster. Or we can do it by uh, using Crossplane to use Kubernetes resources to provision a, a database that's running external to the cluster. So a Google Cloud in our implementation, a Google Cloud SQL database. The next choice is to add schema to our database. So for that, we have Schema Hero and Liquibase. What are they? What's the difference? Why would I choose one over the other? I don't know. I, bet, I guess you better watch the video. And then finally, we have four different technologies to actually develop the application once it's running on Kubernetes in that development environment. So what you don't want to have to do is when you make your development changes, have to rebuild your container image, go through a whole CICD process to get your application running in Kubernetes. There are tools in the CNCF ecosystem that allow you to have very fast feedback and uh, develop your application while it's running in Kubernetes in almost real time. So the tools we talk about in our talk include uh, telepresence, dev space, dev file, and local host. So when we do this live, when we build the demo live, using one of many, it could go so many different ways. Like, and are we going to make it to the end? Are we all going to die from choosing the one that's not CNCF? What's going to happen? You better watch.